Why perform redistribution? The reason is going to be different for all of us. Focus right now on why you are performing redistribution if you are. What is the reasoning behind it? It might not even be one of the options that are listed here. But one of the reasons that you might be performing redistribution is because you're doing a migration of some type. What are you migrating? You're migrating your routing protocols. For example, you might have an environment that is OSPF. And you are transitioning over to EIGRP. Well, in that case, what do you need to do? You need to continue running the old routing protocol while you're transitioning slowly to the new routing protocol. Therefore, both are going to be running at the same time, but you still want full connectivity. And in order to get full connectivity, what do you need to do? You need to share information from one routing protocol to another. It might be because of political reasons. The country you're in might not support or allow that particular routing protocol to be run. They might have strict guidelines that say no proprietary protocols. They have to be open standards. Well, in that case, you might be running in your branch office one routing protocol, that proprietary routing protocol, and in headquarters, you might be running the open standard or vice versa. And in order to share the information between those two sites, you'll have to perform redistribution. You might have routers from different vendors. That vendor's router may or may not support the routing protocol you are currently using in your organization. As a result, they'll perform redistribution so that router can learn about the routes that the other protocol knows about. So in order to exchange this information from one routing source to another routing source, we will be using route redistribution.